Mike, what, what's your title there? Hello, Mike. Have a good, have a good one. I'm the sales manager, director of sales for Extreme Cables. And what kind of products are those? We have a, a very diverse uh, electronic products, uh, starting with our VR glasses, our drones. We've recently gotten to a connected home, which allows you to use your cell phone as a remote control to turn on lights, thermostats, cameras, plugs. What's your family uh, pedigree, the heritage? Uh, we, uh, my father's side, they started off in, uh, in Spain in the 1400s as Spanish Jews. And after the Inquisition, 1492, they had to get dispersed into different countries, into Europe. And my father's family went to Greece, which lived under the Turkish Empire for about 400 years. They lived there as Sephardic Jews or Spanish Jews. They always kept their ethnicity as, a, as Spanish Jews, Sephardic. On my mother's side, they were also from Spain, also called Sephardic Jews. And when they exiled, they wound up in Syria or Aleppo. And uh, my family was peddlers that time. Merchants? Merchants, yeah. The do same thing, salesmen. Uh -huh. Natural born salesmen. Uh -huh. do, uh, do you know any Arabic? And I'm back at from speaking uh, to my grandmother when I was a kid, getting yelled at. And being in the community, being in the electronics business, we all talk uh, a little bit of slang, a little bit of Arabic. How many Jews in the electronics business uh, have a heritage that le links back to Syria? It's uh, it, it, it's pretty popular in our industry. Just like uh, Dunkin' Donuts, they may have the Hindus. We in the electronic business have the SY Jews, we call them, or the Sephardic Jews. Very, very popular in this industry. How do you feel about, Syria was a, a, essentially an enemy of Israel, but how do you feel about how the Obama administration, the Democrats have treated what's happened in, was Aleppo an important city in the Jewish culture? Absolutely. Uh, the uh, the temples that, that were left behind, um, I mean, I'm sure that there's, there's not even a Jew or two left behind, but the temples were left behind. And to have, be able to, to go to Syria and and see those temples again, it, it has, that, ha, that hasn't been available for many years. If you have a passport in Europe or America and you have any stamp on it from Syria, you wouldn't be allowed to go to uh, Iran or Iraq or Saudi Arabia or any other countries if you're known as a Jew that's been to Syria. And same thing vice versa. If you've been in any of those other countries and it's on your passport, you wouldn't be allowed to go to Syria as a Jew. So it's not recommended. <laughs> so. Many liberal Jews have been supportive of Obama and his policy, uh, his hands-off policy, by and large, towards uh, Syria. How do you feel about that? How does the Syrian Jewish community uh, look at that? The, the community is, is, is outraged. It, it doesn't make sense. It's our ally. It's, they have the same beliefs that we believe in, and democracy. Referring to who? As far as uh, Israel. Oh, Israel. Israel and Syria, yeah. Syria. Syria, there is no Syrian Jews, so we have to stand behind Israel. That's that's our country now as Americans, Jews. And if we want to uh, stand behind a country now, we have to stand behind Israel. And Israel hasn't been treated properly by Obama. And he's not respecting Israel as an ally. And he's losing the vote of the Syrian Jews or the Sephardic community because of that. Did the Sephardim vote for Hillary Clinton in the uh, last election? No. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Uh, I think they went. They went Trump. The, the first person I believe Trump had when called when he won was uh, Netanyahu, and that sealed the deal right there of which way it's going to go. What do the Syrian Jews know know that the uh, Ashkenazi or the American Jews don't know? That's a good question. What do the Syrian Jews? Well, basically. Uh, as far as politics or, or as business? Well, about, uh, no, about uh, Israel's safety. The safety, we're talking about uh, importing Syrian refugees throughout Western Europe, Western civilization, North America. Well, our, our community, as I mentioned before, hasn't, hasn't been in Syria in, in many years, so we don't have anything left there to save or protect. What we do feel, uh, my personal opinion, is that the people should be allowed in this country if they have proper paperwork and they're not criminals. Otherwise, the most important thing is this country and as a Jew, as a Sephardic Jew, a Syrian Jew, the most important thing for me is to protect this country. This is the greatest country in America and 
I'm third generation on my mother's side and second on my father's, and I wouldn't trade this country for anything in the world.